Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing, but you guys know what time it is. We're going to be discussing everything Shiba Inu, see what is happening with the price of Shiba Inu, and of course, what we could be expecting as you to go further into the month of March. You know, as we are looking at the overall market, you know, we're seeing altcoins absolutely exploding over the past, you know, two weeks. We know at this point that, you know, altcoins definitely have a lot of momentum. But, you know, if we're looking at Shiba Inu, over the past few days, I would say the last two to three days, you know, the overall momentum um, and the overall demand has kind of slowed down. But we're going to take a little bit of a closer look and see what is happening and whether or not we could see a big push coming up towards another new yearly high. But just a quick reminder for everyone before anyone, um, you know, starts talking negative about Shiba Inu, um, you can see on the monthly time frame, it is up 245%. And this is one of the biggest meme coins. Um, you know in the market in terms of market valuation but let's take it a step further and see what is happening but before i do get into that as always just a quick disclaimer anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrency so if we're looking at the price right now it's currently sitting at 32.13 it's still about four zeros in front of the price up 0.8 percent over the past 24 hours in usd comparative but if we're looking at it in bitcoin and ethereum comparative it's down about two percent so it's um you know lagging behind btc and eth as of now you know, but if we're looking at its market cap it's um, just shy of 19 billion dollars and the 24 hour trading volume is currently sitting at 1.3 billion dollars which is not bad to be quite frank with you but now let's take it a step further and see what's happening with the overall holder account. So what you can see is pretty much since March 7th, which is almost one week ago, you know, we've seen the Shiba Inu's overall holder count increasing, as you can see. And this is people that actually have Shiba Inu within their Ethereum wallet. Um, and, you know, that uh, brings the count to about 1.38 million holders as of now. But one thing you guys need to note is the exchange holders, you know, people that are holding Shiba Inu on exchanges um, does not come into uh, consideration in terms of the total count of holders. So, you know, that is something that we need to keep in mind when you are uh, looking at the holder count on Etherscan. But let's uh, keep going. If you're looking at the overall total meme coin market cap combined we're still hovering around the 62.5 billion if you've been noticing if you've been watching my videos you are seeing you know the market cap hasn't uh, hit a new yearly high as of now we're still sitting at around 62.5 billion now uh, but you know if you're looking at um, you know the top market cap projects uh, you can see obviously doge is the biggest one and then we have shiba inu and right below shiba inu we have pepe um, and of course, you know, Dog Whiff Hat is absolutely exploding right now. You know, there's a lot of good things happening with this meme coin, something we haven't really seen uh, with any other coin in terms of engagement. They're making this whole logo um, in the, um, you know, Vegas has this globe thing, which can be seen across like Vegas. And, you know, now they did reach the advertising a fee um, and you know they're going to have this logo on that globe and i think that is obviously causing the price to um, you know pump up right now about 30 percent because that was announced today but you know if you're looking at um, you know the top i would say five projects let's just go top five meme coins you're starting to see shiba inu is definitely lagging as of now we don't even need to pull out the charts you can clearly see this right from here so what you're seeing is over the past week over the last seven days time frame you know it's down about four percent meanwhile you know doge is up 8.5 percent pepe 26.4 and of course dog with hat 44.4 but of course you know um, a lot of people might be looking at these small cap coins and saying oh, you know why are they pumping so much and shiba inu isn't pumping one thing i want you guys to be 100 percent clear about is that you know these coins even though they're having a crazy crazy time right Right now there's still you know nowhere near shiba inu's market cap and this is something we don't want to be forgetting you know shiba inu is one of the top um, meme coins um, you know if in terms of market valuation it's a top two right behind dogecoin uh, so you know that's um, one thing that we need to consider at all times but what you're starting to see is definitely the momentum is slowing down because over the past you know week we did see shiba inu coming very very close to making history and getting past you know dogecoin's overall spot in terms of market cap and that did not happen happen um, so you know those are some factors we need to keep in mind um, but if we're looking at uh, BTC dominance BTC dominance is hovering around 53.7% so if you did watch my updates late last night you know not much has changed and 
and this is the reason as to why we're seeing altcoins right now having a great time dominance staying at these levels because if dominance shoots up to 55 percent you best believe that you know we're going to see altcoins start lagging behind so if you're an altcoin holder this is what you want to be seeing right now for the dominance index uh, but now if we're looking at bitcoin's price you know bitcoin is sitting once again at a new all-time high we're above the um, resistance, uh, which is obviously the 23.6 FIP uh, all-time high. We're sitting above that. And in about 25 more minutes from now on, you know, we are going to close the daily candle for, you know, the day of March the 13th. And if the price of BTC is once again able to close above 73K mark, I'm expecting more highs, um, you know, going into Thursday morning. And of course, as we go and close off the week on Friday. So definitely great things happening in terms of Bitcoin's momentum. But now let's shift our focus towards Shiba Inu. So if you're looking at Shiba Inu's price right now, this chart, you guys probably like Crypto ZX, what's really happening? It doesn't really make any sense as of now. So, you know, I'm going to, um, you know, bring the closer time frame for you guys to give you guys a real close look as to what is happening because of course right now it doesn't really make sense as to what is happening so let's shift our focus towards the hourly time frame and look at this so this chart does not look as bad as you think especially when you're looking at it on the hourly time frame and examining it on a shorter time scale so you can see this for yourself at this point everyone knows that you know march 5th was its yearly high at 45.69 and pretty much since 45.69 zone which was obviously uh in the uh, you know 61.8 fibonacci retracement level since that you know it's only retraced down about 30.2 percent and this is what people tend to forget of course you know it's lagging behind you know its competitors as of now but this is not something that you want to be forgetting the fact that shiba did run up about almost 300 percent in just the month of March after that massive run it's only down 30% and this is what you need to be um, you know thankful about the fact that it hasn't gone down way more than um, you know 30% but what you're starting to notice right now is it's having a hard time keeping past above this key resistance so after that you know massive uh, shakeout we did see on March 5th you know since then it's been just having a hard time claiming back above you know the key resistance so i wouldn't even say in the 61.8 just the fact that it's able to not close its um you know candle and turn into support above 35 43 zone is something that you need to pay very close attention to and you can see this for yourself and then obviously we retested on march 8th as well a few other rejections and um, since then you know it's just not been able to actually get past this key resistance so what is this telling us this is telling us this key resistance like i've said to you guys several times at this point is something that you need to keep your eyes on because the price needs to close above this uh, and turn into support before we start heading to words new yearly high so that's really really important but what you're starting to see is we've seen a, a few bounces at this 3000 zone you can see this for yourself you know that is a support um, so you know we're being supported by that you know every time we saw the price hit at that support line you did see a bounce and we did see a bounce about yesterday as well a little bit uh, from that price point so liking what I'm seeing um, you know it's consolidating it has found a ground um, especially after having this massive rally but you know it's really really important for the price to reclaim above that key resistance that's what you want to be taking a look at and if you want to put that into perspective that move that move is only about 11 percent uh, from where we are so like i said that's where i would like to see it but if you're looking at it on the daily time frame where are we being supported by that might be the question that you have we're being supported by some levels um you know from january uh, 2022 you can pretty much see this for yourself and now if this support is to be lost you know that is a question if you're having that is not a bad question to be um, having you know we could see uh, the price going down to the next major support line at the 2966 so that's how i'm currently analyzing it but uh, we're going to take it one step at a time do let me know down below what you guys personally think uh, but yeah it's been crypto zx and peace out